in the eerie shadows of a moonless night. A chilling silence blankens the earth. As you tune in to this spine-tingling audio series, you are transported into a realm where the boundaries between spirits and monsters blur, unleashing untold horrors upon the unexpecting world. The whispers of vengeful spirits intertwine with the gnarling growls of monstrous creatures. Their ghastly alliance awakened a primordial evil that hungers for human souls. With each haunting episode, you will be drawn deeper into the heart of this malevolent darkness. Where despite mortals struggle to survive while the line between friend and foe vanishes. Brace yourself, dear listener, for within these episodes, you will experience firsthand the dread and terror that arises when spirits and monsters join forces in a dance of pure, unadulterated horror. Damn it. All right, Toby, that's enough. Why don't you just take a break for right now? Have a seat next to me. I don't understand. I've been training all this time, and I still can't do that black flash thing that you've told me about. It's making me irritated that I can't learn it. Oh, come on now, Toby. Don't beat yourself up over it. As a matter of fact, learning black flash is a lot harder than you think. Not even I can openly use black flash within a whim. My brother... On the other hand, Yuji. Well, I think he just simply knows how to do it at free will. <laughs> Lucky him, I guess. But it's still irritating. I've been training for months now. I should be able to, like, show signs of doing it at least. Like I just said, don't beat yourself up over it. Eventually, you will just end up doing it once you are fighting someone. It's like a more in-the-moment type of thing. Hell, I didn't even know how to use it at all until I fought one curse with my brother. And then that boosted up my power up to 120%. So once you do land a black flash, you'll feel it. Your curse energy will skyrocket. And trust me, it's a hell of a rush. Well, I hope I learn it soon. <sighs> hmm. You do seem off today. Something on your mind? No, oh, it's... It's nothing you have to worry about, Toto. Trust me, it's just my own thoughts in my head messing with me. No, oh, come on, Toby. I'm a jujitsu sorcerer. I don't think a little conversation's gonna harm me in any type of way. So tell me, what's on your mind? It's just... <sighs> There's something, I think, there's something coming. Something huge. And I didn't want to bring you guys into it, but 
My friend, they told me about you guys, and it's been months now, and we've been talking back and forth, we've been training. I just don't, I don't think that you guys are completely ready for what's gonna happen. Tick, 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 tick. Murder, murder, birdie. I just don't want to harm anybody. Because if I do, I'll just feel even more shittier than I do right now, and I don't want to lose anybody either. I know how you feel. Trust me, I do. The thought of losing your comrades is very saddening. I get that. But slumping over it, the thought of it, it's just going to keep dragging your thoughts down. And it won't make your mind clear. Clear enough to know your actual task and what you want to do. These are just thoughts in your mind, Toby. You can fight through these intense thoughts. I know you can. It's not all of my thoughts or just that is that so elaborate well I mean <sighs> it's about my roommate well technically I shouldn't really call them my roommate at this point more like my angel sent from heaven. You see, Toby, before you met me, I was homeless. And I was doing just side jobs to make scrap money so I'd be able to f buy food, be able to survive. But... And my past is, uh, my past is just slowly catching up to me, and now I have other people involved in that. And in my past, I have been with a lot of dangerous people, a lot of dangerous things at that. I just don't want, I don't want to lose people. Especially my roommate. <laughs> so you like your roommate? I wouldn't say just like. They changed my life. Without them, I'd still be out on the streets. And doing just awful things. I love them, Toto. I really do. And I got them involved in this, and I just don't want to lose them. This is the first time that I've actually felt love in years. I felt like someone actually cares about me. Birdie. I don't want to lose any more loved people in my life, Toto. I've lost enough. Toby. I feel like you are hiding most of your past. From us. It's just me here. You can tell me. I'm really good at keeping secrets. Do you know the people that I told you guys about? You, Yuji, Gojo. I told you about all of them. The people I used to hang out with. Mm-hmm. If my memory is good, I think the names of your friends were Masky and Hoodie. 
Quite strange names for friends. Yeah, well, they're not really my friends anymore. They're out to kill me. Back when I was a little bit younger, I would hang out with these two guys and another person. I don't even think I can call him a person. More like a creature. And this creature, the Slender Man, he formed a group between me, Maskey, and Hoodie. And he called us the Proxies. And our symbol is the symbol you've been seeing around the city. I used to be one of them. Used to be one of them. But now I'm not. Prox, proxy, proxy, murder, murder. I, I dropped that whole life behind me, though. But they found me again. And the Slender Man is sending both of them after me, along with whoever they're teaming up with. Jeff, whoever they have. They're after me. All this was caused by me because of the dumb shit I did in my past. I dragged you all into it, and I, I just, I don't know what to do. I really don't. So these people, they're out to kill you. And just because you left them behind, just because they couldn't see that your future was brighter than theirs, and they wanted to drag you down back into their darkness... That's why they're after you, to kill you? I think they're pathetic. Toby, you have so much more potential inside of this body than anybody that I have ever seen. You have great potential. I mean, just two weeks ago, you learned how to control your cursed energy inside your body with ease. Sure, it took a little while for you to learn it, but you did. In your own way, you are your own person. And I couldn't be any prouder of you. And I think I can speak for everyone here. Everyone is proud of you. Thanks, Toto. I mean it, thank you. But this whole fight that's going to happen is still caused by me. And I still need to do something about it. And that's why I'm learning how to do all this stuff. But I still feel like I'm just dragging behind and just pissed off at everything. And I still don't know how to do this fucking black... I don't want to lose my friends. I don't want to let them down. I don't think you're going to let them down one bit, Toby. Look. Huh? Within that moment... Toby would look at the tree he threw his axe into, seeing now that that tree is nothing more than wood chips now. Within his moment of anger, Toby imbued his axe with cursed energy, and when he threw it, he finally used Black Flash. I think you're ready now, Toby. And I think you will save your friend. Now come on, 
We have to tell Gojo Sensei about this. R right. Okay. But, um, can I go grab my axe first? <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 